we're team 12 at NRC 185 at UMass Amherst. My name is Lexi. I'm Navin. I'm Micah. And I'm Megan. We are here working at the Silvio Conti U.S. Fish and Wildlife National Refuge with the Fort River Division with uh, Gabe, who is a fellow volunteer at the trail, and we are working to pick the invasive plant of garlic mustard. After suiting up with some gear graciously given to us by Gabe, we headed out to the section of the park we're going to work at. I'll take this time to acknowledge that the land we are working on was once land belonging to the Pocomtuck people who were unjustly removed from their ancestral homeland. We thank the land and the ancestors of the Pocomtuck people as we keep their history in mind as we work here. We started a perimeter, all of that was covered. And yeah, we're basically picking these here. They're actually edible if we wanted to, but we don't. And so yeah, we pick them up like that and get anywhere to six and then you just kind of shake the dirt off and put them in a pile. More than nine? Oh right. wow. Yeah. I didn't even... I All right, didn't my, my 15 guess might be... Yeah, like, you, might yeah, yeah you might be the closest. Okay, I gotta buy you a drink. Gabe taught us a lot about garlic mustard. It's an invasive plant that belongs to the mustard family and threatens the survival of plants in the area by having really strong seeds that outcompete other plants. And it flowers earlier in the spring, so it takes sunlight and nutrients from the soil before other plants can get it. It's a biennial, which means in the first year it grows close to the ground in a rosette, and the second year is when it sprouts and flowers. That's when you want to pick it so the seeds don't have a chance to make it to the seed bank. Pulling garlic mustard disturbs the soil, which causes seeds to have a better chance of taking hold. This is why, after we worked, Gabe distributed a bunch of wildflower seeds to hopefully counteract the seeds left behind by the garlic mustard. According to the Nature Conservancy, garlic mustard originated from Europe and came over with colonists for herbal uses and erosion control. I think that sustainability means to preserve, maintain, and taking action, but not at the expense of our future generations. Hi everyone, I'm the fifth member of Team 12. Picking invasive species. Got the bag, started the bagging process. Oh yeah, yeah, with one hand, super, super cool. So we just finished uh, the eight hours that we needed for this project. We said a hearty thank you and goodbye to the volunteer we're working with, Gabe. A lot of crazy, uh, crazy experiences. I'm certain I have more than a couple bugs in my hair, so. Working to make the Silvio Conti Trail more friendly to native plants was a fascinating and informative job. We learned so much about how invasive plants impact the land, and Gabe really stressed to us how important weeding invasive plants is. Picking the garlic mustard was a unique experience that evoked a range of emotions. It may have appeared to be an easy assignment at first, but as we delved deep into the project, we discovered the significance of removing this plant from our ecosystem. We felt a sense of accomplishment and responsibility to protect the environment with each plant we pulled. We realized that this was more than simply removing the invasive plant. It was also about preserving the natural balance of our ecosystem. We extend a huge thank you to both Gabe and his boss, Jen, for working with us and providing us with such an excellent opportunity. And we also give a special thanks to the volunteers who joined us on the second day. It felt incredible to make a difference with them.